Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And today I'm really excited to dive into something truly new and quite useful for anyone interested in the world of video editing or image editing as well. And that is the Lenza AI app. If you love taking selfies and want to transform the, them into stunning works of art, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be sharing my experience using Lenza AI, exploring some features and discussing both the highs and lows and things to consider when you are using apps like Lenza. So if you're curious about turning your selfies into masterpieces, keep watching and let's get started. So what is Lenza AI? Lenza AI is a mobile application that utilizes AI technology to transform selfies into artistic creations. Some key features of Lenza AI include AI art generator, so Lenza AI employs artificial intelligence algorithms to apply various artistic effects to selfies and turning them into mesmerizing artworks as well. It also has photo editing tools. So the app is equipped with a range of powerful photo editing tools, allowing users to enhance their images and create stunning content. And once users have edited their photos and generated artistic works, they can easily share those creations with friends and family on social media platforms or the web. So let's get started with Lenza AI and how to download. As mentioned before, Lenza AI is an app, meaning you need a mobile device in order to access it. Um, it's available on the App Store and the Play Store as well. On the Play Store, it looks something like this. So you just want to type in Lenza AI in the search and just install Lenza AI by Prisma Labs Incorporated, and it'll look something like this as well. And this is what it looks like in the App Store. So again, you just want to search for Lenza AI and it looks up something like this. If you're looking for the one by Prisma Labs Incorporated, and this is the image for the Lenza AI app. And you just want to click on whichever one, whichever platform that you're using and just download it and open it from your phone. So after the app is on your phone, you'll be presented with a series of screens. Um, the first screen is the landing page for the editor and notice that you'll need to check the privacy policy before you continue using the app. The next screen talks about Lenza Lenza's photo editing capabilities. Um, the app is famous for uh, its magic avatars, but it also functions as a solid photo editing app as well. And the final screen talks about magic avatars, and that's um, we'll go over that today as well. Depending on how you intend to use Lenza, you can use the seven day free trial or subscribe to the service, and you get additional photo editing features, discounts on credits, and exclusive packs. Um, in this video today, we're just gonna be using the, um, the free version. So let's start with the photo editor. So you'll come across the screen and you have two options. You have the options to use the magic avatars, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, and then you can also just go straight into photo editing. So in order to start with the photo editing, you just want to click on add photos and select a photo that you want to choose to edit. So this is the photo that we've chosen and you can see it's just very plain, just a normal image of a woman and the AI is just loading with all the features that it has. So one of the first features that it has is the AI art style. So you can choose between different kind of art styles that they have and just see how it looks compared to like the old photos. So you can see I've got the um, art style here with the trendy uh, filter up here and you can see it's just a lot brighter and there's a lot more um, smoothness onto the face as well. So there's some photo, there's the art style change that you can change. It's one of the most popular editing tools that they have. Then you can add a filter and this is just this button here. And you can add different filters and how intense each of these filters are. You can control it as well. So you can see how the photo looks like now compared to like before. It's a lot more intense, it's a lot more brighter um, and looks just a lot better as well. And we can also add a background uh, effect as well. So we've got this kind of spot background effect and we can decide sort of how much uh, intense it is. And we can also decide on the color as well if you want to change it to the blue um, and things like that. So we've got quite a few options to play around with with the art styles and this is the final result. So we have compare it to the initial, um, you can see we've got more of the filters on, we've got more of the art style change and we've added a background as well. Um, and you can see that was really quick to do as well. Um, it's really easy to just click on each of the filters, reset them and add them again in order to create an image that we're really happy with and edit it. Using Lenza AI will combine your photos with filters, design, and effects to create your app, your final photo. There's no prompts or instructions that you need to send to the app. Um, it's not like an image generator where you would need to describe what you would want in your image. You already have like this image here. So now let's take a look at the magic avatars, and this is what uh, Lenza AI is kind of known for. 
So what you want to do is click on magic avatars at the bottom and then it'll ask you to kind of generate avatars for a different kind of image that you want. So you can do female, male, just a person in general, or even a dog or a cat. And then it'll ask you to select what style that you want. Um, using Lensa AI, it combines your photos, filters, designs, and effects to create your magic avatar. Um, there's no prompts or instructions that you need to send the app, and this makes it really accessible and easy way to generate AI imagery. If you remember from our previous videos um, on tools like Midjourney and Blue Willow, they do a really good job of um, generating art, but the learning curve can be steep. With Lenza AI, a simple click or some styles and uploading your photos can generate really cool selfies and avatars as well. Um, so you can see there's different kind of art styles here and we can choose to kind of create um, what examples as well. Lenza has more than 30 graphic styles that you can apply to your avatars and Lenza allows you to choose up to 10 avatars when selecting your style. However, the number of styles you select will affect the number of images generated and it takes to generate um, those avatars as well. Um, before you can upload your photos, um, they will give you a what to expect kind of uh, thing, showing you what kind of images that you can expect um, as well. And before you upload your photos as well, it'll give you uh, a guideline on the types of photos you should uh, upload in terms of uh, good photo examples, so the same uh, subject um, not covered, different varieties of angles, tilts, backgrounds. You want to avoid something that has other uh, animals, shots from a distance, um, and things like that. And the next thing that you want to do is select 10 to 20 photos um, from your phone gallery. And then once you have your notification from Lenza, it's time to look at your magic avatars and you can essentially just see what kind of avatars that you have. It's important to note that you do need to have a plan in place in order to see your avatars. Overall, you can see Lenza AI is a really easy way to generate images um, compared to tools like Midjourney or uh, Blue Willow. While Lenza AI does seem like a fun and creative tool for personal use, it is essential to consider the following factors. First one being privacy and security. So like any app that deals with personal images, users need to be mindful of the privacy and security aspects. Ensure that the app's privacy policy is clear about how it handles and stores your images and your personal data as well. When using AI image generators like Lenza, it's essential to be aware of the ownership and usage rights of the transformed images. Some apps claim ownership or usage rights for the artwork claimed through their platform, so read the terms and conditions really carefully. If you plan to share your transformed images on social media or the web, be sure to credit the app or mention that the images were created using Lenza, especially if the app stipulates that in its terms of service. And lastly, before using the app, consider checking user reviews and feedback from reliable sources to understand other experiences and potential issues with the app as well. Remember that technology and apps evolve over time, so it's really essential to stay informed about updates and changes to the Lenza AI app and other AI-based applications. Always use apps responsibly and in line with their terms of use to ensure a positive experience both personally and professionally as well. And that's a wrap on our journey with Lenza AI. It's an incredible app to unleash your creativity and make your selfies stand out like never before. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more excited content. If you've tried Lenza yourself, I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.